The periodic table divides the world into just over 100 elements, sorted by their chemical properties. But did you know that each kind of atom is made up of a different combination of just three subatomic particles? Everything around you is made from just three ingredients. You've looked at atoms from a chemistry point of view, but we also cover them in physics too. You should already know all about the structure of atoms, but if you've forgotten, you may want to watch these videos first. In this video, we're going to look at different forms of an atom called isotopes. Before we start, let's quickly recap the general structure of an atom. The nucleus is made up of neutrons and positively charged protons. The total number of these particles is called the mass number. They each have a relative mass of one. Orbiting the nucleus in specific patterns are negatively charged electrons. These are much lighter. In fact, their mass is so small we can usually ignore it. Now for isotopes. All atoms of a particular element will always have the same number of protons in the nucleus. This is called the atomic or proton number. Lithium has three protons, so the proton number is three. But neutrons are a little different. The number of neutrons in an atom can change. Lithium-6 and lithium-7 are both stable lithium atoms. Because they both have three protons, they are both lithium atoms. But this one has a mass number of six, and this has a mass number of seven. The difference in mass numbers is because this one has one more neutron in its nucleus. These different forms are called isotopes. So isotopes of an atom always have the same number of protons, but different numbers of neutrons. The different isotopes do, however, have identical chemical properties. Have you ever wondered why some of the mass numbers in the periodic table aren't whole numbers? This is because the mass shown in the periodic table is a weighted average of all the atoms of that element, so of all the different isotopes. If it's close to a whole number, that usually means there's only one common isotope. For example, around 99% of carbon atoms have six neutrons, which means about 99% of them have a mass number of 12, but around 1% have an extra neutron. We call this isotope carbon-13, and there is carbon-14, which is even rarer, with eight neutrons. Because most of the carbon isotopes have a mass of 12, but some have 13, and even fewer have 14, this is why the mass number on the periodic table is just a little higher than 12. Only very precise measurements can show this. Some combinations of protons and neutrons are stable, but some are unstable which means the nucleus doesn't last very long. These are often called radioisotopes because when they break down, they give out nuclear radiation, which we'll look at in the next video. For now, you should be happy explaining what isotopes are and linking the numbers in the periodic table to the subatomic particles in each atom. Please like and share our videos with your friends. If you have any questions that you want help with, just comment below.